Hello, my foodie friends. Welcome back to Foodish, where foodies come to be foodies. I'm your host, Jaron Crispy Olson. In today's episode, we're exploring American staple, the classic stadium nachos. But before we get to the ballpark, long lines, and awesome intro music, I just wanted to say a few things, and the first being the most important of them all. Thank you to all of those who are spending their time watching my videos. This really started out as nothing but a fun thing to do. But with your help, your, your views, your comments, your likes, you have, you've shown me something. That there's others out in this beautiful world that want to experience something new and different. And I, I really can't thank you guys enough for that. Now back to the food, the classic stadium nachos. I honestly think stadium nachos are usually one of the best reasons to go to any football, soccer, or baseball game. And let's face it, it's been a while since most of us have been able to go to any form of entertainment that involves a stadium. And, and I had such a craving for it. There is nothing quite like dipping old, warm, salty chips into chemically enhanced fake cheese with a slice of jalapeno on top. Think about it, they're like 10 bucks for 12 chips, a small scoop of warm yellow dyed goop with the flavoring of cheese, and like what, I don't know, maybe four jalapenos? That is like the worst exchange for 10 bucks you could ever make. But guess what? I still do it. And I know you do too, because they still sell them. I honestly wonder what their profit margin is with nachos. Like what, at least 95%? Anyways, let's take a second to thank those venues that understand their customers to the fourth degree. You know what I'm talking about. You stand in a long line, buy your nachos, your overpriced beer, and then you turn, and there it is. A sight almost as beautiful as the Sistine Chapel itself. A pump of the semi-warm, sometimes a little powdery yellow goop. Because I want others to say, want some chips with your cheese? They're just jealous of your mountain of pasteurized, artery-clogging, teeth-staining nachos. Deep down, they know you're having a much better time at this game than they are. Okay, okay, okay. I think I made it pretty clear how much I love nachos. And I have a very simple, easy recipe for the classic stadium nachos. Yes, I, I took a little freedom with the recipe by adding some ground meat, but I had some ground beef that I really needed to use up anyways. So if you want true stadium nachos, just don't make the meat. That's even simpler. But once I was devouring my dish that was perfectly satisfying my craving, by the way, I thought to myself, let's make some foodish nachos. Look for that in the upcoming episode. Let's just say we up the game in every category. This is probably the most American-ish dish I have ever created. Three kinds of meats, three kinds of cheese sauces, three kinds of chips, and a whole mess of toppings. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog for the recipe. The link will be down below. If anyone would like to suggest a dish to make in a future episode, please comment below. And before you know it, that dish may be presented on Foodish, including a shout out to whoever suggested it. As always, please like and subscribe and share with all your foodie family and friends. Check you later.